that is uh, something that's going to be really good in uh, PvP. It's going to be awesome. It'll be very, very uh, easy to coordinate attacks when you have something like a huge friggin' insignia over someone's head placed by your uh, demon hunter and or huntress. It doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, it's uh, it's really it's undoubtedly going to be used in PvP. <clears throat> uh, you know, it's they take an additional 20% damage, as far as I know, from all sources. I, I don't see anything that would lead me to believe otherwise. So, so taking that another ring of wounding, badass. So uh, taking taking all of that extra damage is huge. I mean, that's 20% total extra damage. You know have your monk and or barbarian prepare their gap closers drop mark of death and then just unload on them that's gonna be a quick and easy kill it is too bad though that you know I don't know it's not too bad but they have changed it to team deathmatch so that may not be necessarily as uh, I mean obviously it's still gonna matter right killing someone still makes a difference but with the fact that it's it's uh, you know it's not oh uh, you know one death and you're out for the round it, it means that, you know, in coming back, a death isn't as catastrophic. Um, I, I do want to know, though, if they plan to do it by a timer, like, okay, this last five minutes, whoever has the most points wins, or if they're going to do, okay, we uh, first person, first team to get to 20 kills, say, you know. Um, both things are a possibility. And, uh, and I will be interested to see what they end up deciding to do with that. Both would be awesome, but, you know, I feel like they're so they're so limited in what they plan to do for PvP, at least from the get-go, that uh, the probability of us not seeing both is pretty high. Although it seems pretty logical that, that you know, that they, if they had one like that, they would have the other, you know. If they had X amount of time, they'd also have X amount of kills, but logical always doesn't come through. There's uh, so many factors that go into, you know, what they can and cannot put in the game. All right, marked for death. And, yeah, there you go. That'll be, you know, that'll be better once we go to uh, the actual... Once we get to King Leoric, the actual boss fight. Then it'll be uh, much more beneficial. Right? Right. Alrighty, awesome. Let's go back to town quickly here. Where am I going? <laughs> there it is. Okay, so uh, now that we're here, let's get a repair. What I was looking for. And do, 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 do. Oh, I, don't, I haven't even spent the time to look at this with you guys. So you can see right now you can just repair your equipment or you can repair all items. And... You can also just place a item in to repair it as well. So let's put my gloves in there. Let's repair those gloves. Beautiful, they're repaired. Or, you know, obviously I'm just going to do repair all items. Just nice and simple. Not much to think about. And let's keep going here. Back to Cathedral Level 3. And there he is. He waited for me. How nice of you. Thank you, sir, for waiting. I appreciate that. Um, Actually, I think it might be down there. Is it? Yes, it is. It is down this way. Dead villagers, anything? No, not really. Okay. Oh, come on. How rude. <laughs> Why do those rocks have to fall at that exact moment, huh? Sheesh. You, wanna, you know what would, would be cool? I don't... I do wish the environments could hurt you as well. Right? Like, I wish that it would have been possible... Maybe they avoid that because of hardcore and they don't want people to die because something fell on their head <laughs> or something. But I wish it was possible for me to have actually walked across and to have that come down and kill me. You know? I think that that would be neat if that level of danger was in the game. Besides just, you know, having to avoid the enemies and any kind of modifiers they may have or anything. Having to worry about the environment as well. There we go. March for death there. And Jondar is a goner. Please forgive me. My vision. That's a neat little insignia too. I like that. I think that looks pretty neat. Betrayal can <clears throat> never be forgiven. Still wearing my running pants and my Adidas. Alright, Templar, come with. 
And I'll, I'll, I'll keep you with here. And let's right away, I'm gonna give you, uh, I don't really care about the tanking stuff. I'm gonna give you, I'm sorry, I don't really care about the healing stuff. I'm gonna give him the tanking stuff. Have him do a bit of tanking for me. Let's go to that bookshelf though. Whoops. Nothing, geez, really looking to find more pages of training. There, uh, right as I say it, huh? Ask and you shall receive. A glorious day. There we go. We saw some bounce back there on that one. See, look at that. See how that just curved back and hit the uh, hit the skellies. Good. I like that. What do we got down here? Nothing but a dead villager. It's either that or like a. Uh, you either see that or just one of those loose areas, one of those loose tiles, loose stones. You also see a chest every now and then. Archers, no problem. I am too low on discipline. And I actually just got finished recording uh, Machinima Realms general chat. So you guys can check that out. That'll be available on, what's today, Tuesday? That'll be available Wednesday morning. It should be at least, that's when it's planned to go up. So Wednesday morning general chat, you'll be seeing me force there. Not really seeing me, I'm on a Skype call, but we, we, we field some Diablo related questions, it was cool. They wanted to have me on board to uh, just share my thoughts and opinions on the game and stuff like that. That force guy, he knows a thing or two about Diablo. He knows one or two things about that game. Why don't we have him on? Why don't we have him on general chat? Okay, guys, I'll join you. That's what happened. That was their internal con. <laughs> that was their internal conversation. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. These little shits here, the tomb guardians, summon. Uh, you know those big packs that you saw, but they also summon like that. You see right there how he just kind of dropped the skeleton over there. So it's something to pay attention to. Try to try, you know, trying to get them. If you're trying to cut back on the amount of enemies you have, you try to take them out as soon as possible. But say you're going for like uh, mass kill streaks, then just let them summon some dudes. That'll be the best way to get a bunch of guys out. Just bounce between these two rooms here. There we go. I do like Vault quite a bit. Another one of those, you know, very probable, almost guaranteed PVP abilities because. Mobility is so important in PvP. You know? And especially in a game like Diablo where there's not, like, things aren't really locked on, where you can dodge stuff, you know, you could dodge spells. Um, it's not only about keeping away from the melee characters, you can literally dodge spells with, uh, with something like this, so. And that's, would be used, I'm sure. One big thing, though, is that Discipline being such a shallow resource. Wow, I found it already? Still gonna go back, though. Still gonna do our exploring, so we're gonna go back. Um, discipline being such a shallow resource, I'll be interested though, because I mean, there's obviously gonna be a trade-off too. Well, let's, because if you're if you're sucking up your discipline, vaulting around, that means you're not doing other discipline-related things. For example, we take a look here. Uh, sentry dropping a turret on the ground. Uh, shadow power draws the power of the shadows, increasing attack speed by 50% for 10 seconds. That's amazing, you know. And uh, companion here getting a little raven buddy for some extra damage, and then smoke screen. And this is another thing: smoke screen very well. Uh, invisibility, yeah, that's something that's going to be used. So you know, being, ha being, having the option of spamming vault isn't really it's not really an option um, because you you are so low. You do have so few. Uh, so few available resources for a short period of time with only the 30 cap right now. You know, we'll see, we'll probably see, you know, we'll have the option of uh, increasing that or increasing the regeneration. All these things are certainly possible. Um, so, you know, it's not exactly set in stone that that's it, but still, overall, it's gonna be relatively shallow because it starts off shallow, so. I'd like to see, though, some uber hatred builds, some uber discipline builds, you know? Just using mass discipline awesomeness. I mean, that 50% increased attack speed is nuts, to be honest. That's a lot. That's a lot. You know, you're setting people up, too. You mark a death, a target, you drop shadow power, and then you just go crazy. Your attack speed is nuts. They, they're taking increased damage on top of it. I mean, that's a good, that's a good scenario there. 
All right, so go down here. Watch, see, so any if anything drops from these bookshelves, it'll be up top. See that? Very odd, indeed. This guy. Templar loves talking. <laughs> I can already see the immediate response. Uh, force? <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> literally. Quite literally. Indubitably. My good chap. It's gonna wrap back around right there. It's probably gonna be connecting uh, Avenue. Probably gonna go straight through to that area. I'm assuming that's what will take place here. Oh no, this is, is, this, is this sanctioned off? Really? Hmm. <laughs> the, tem <laughs> the Templar is hilarious. He loves a good fight. He's all about... You see how excited he was that there was a uh, enchanted monster? I mean, he was just absolutely tickled pink. Ornate ring there. Increased sale value by 250%. But yeah, this is blocked off. Wow. So leading absolutely nowhere. And keep it up. Looks like I'm going to actually have to wrap back around there. I just want to check what's up there. Probably just going to be a few more rooms, but I do want to take a look. Too low on discipline. Just so we can keep up the exploring. And I, th I love this. Uh, I love the color here. I think that looks really cool. I do. The damage there from the fallen star going straight through the floor. As much as people hate color in this uh, series, I don't think it's the worst thing that could happen. You know? The stylized artistic approach here that the game's taking. People still complaining about the art direction. Maybe hoping it'll change. Some people will you know, say, hey, you know. Well, and that's that's the truth, right? I mean, the only way change is going to happen is if people voice their opinions. I'm not ignorant to that fact. I think that personally, though, I'm not that offended by the art direction as some people are. So, yeah, if you don't like it, well, you know, that's it's your personal opinion. And that's great. Good for you. I mean, everyone hates it, though. You know what I mean? I it's a matter of taste. Evil walks in is what day. it is. Should it not fear the light? If it is truly evil, it does not care. But the light is both a literal and figurative foe of evil. <laughs> 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 oh man, Templar's got jokes even. <laughs> that was good. That was that was comical. I'm entertaining myself through NPCs here. What a sad, sad day. <laughs> no, that was good. I like that. And you know what? How many... I wish there were more plans besides the ones that I've had forever now. It seems like it's only these, this plan and the rope fist that fall. I don't understand. Why is that? Why are there no more plans? Yes, Force, it's the beta, you huge dummy. Well, still, come on. You can't draw more than two plans just because it's the beta? Make stuff up. Beta only gear. Just give us beta only gear. Something to keep playing for. Give us a reason to keep playing. I'm, I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna show you guys everything there is to see. You guys are gonna hate the beta by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> like, force, no! No more beta! Too much! I'm gonna beat it to death. You know what, I mean, besides these plays that I'm doing here, that we're going through the females, like I said, I'm gonna do the co-op, and I am I was serious, too. I wanna do uh, all possible combinations. So, Demon Hunter Barbarian. Demon Hunter Witch Doctor. Barbarian Witch Doctor, Barbarian Wizard. Barbarian Wizard, Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, Wizard, Barbarian, <laughs> Demon Hunter, that's the same thing, just a different order of force. No, but I, I wanna do all those combinations. Uh, I don't see any reason not to. I think the one thing that I would like to know, though, here's a good thing. Here's some feedback time. We'll call this the force feedback segment of the show. Time for some force feedback. 
But for you guys to give me force feedback, not for me to give you guys feedback. Feedback for force, what we'll call it. Uh, when I do the co-op Let's Plays, do we want full runs at max level characters? Or do we want start from scratch co-ops, you know? Which do you think would be better? Which would be more entertaining? I would like you guys to tell me in the comments below how you feel about it. Tell me how you feel, guys. I want to know. Share with me your feelings. <laughs> no, tell me which one. <laughs> tell me what thing that you'd be most interested in. Um, because that's what I want to go ahead and do. And whatever kind of gets the overwhelming responses is what I'll be looking to do. I'm a man of the people. I am a people person. I like people. Some people are stupid. Right? Some people are idiots. Some people are obnoxious. But even with all those things being true, I still like people. And even people who carry those characteristics, I still like them, you know? Everyone's got... Everyone's multidimensional. Even if you meet an idiot or a douchebag, <laughs> there's going to be good things about them. That's how I feel. I, I think that everyone has some good in them, except for, like, you know, mass murderers and serial killers. But I don't know. Maybe even they do. Hmm? Hmm. Nah, that's, a, that's, a little, that's a little bit much. I'm not going to go that far. All I'm saying is that people are cool. That's all I'm saying. Some of the most interesting people that I met in college and working as a bartender, um, you know, just come, come from all walks of life. So... And yes, if you are new to following me, or my channel, wow, did I just whistle saying channel? That is creepy. If you are new to following me or my channel, <laughs> um, then maybe you don't know, but before doing all this video game hoopla, oh, I've always been a gamer, but my job job was bartending. I did it for quite a long time, a few years, in fact. Bartended at all sorts of different places, and I loved it, you know? I, I still love it. If for some reason what I'm doing now ever falls through, I don't, it's not going to, but <laughs> I've got big plans, my friends. Big plans, big plans. One of the biggest next steps I've got is the website coming out. My, uh, my fully revamped website. That's going to bring about a whole bunch of new awesome, exciting things. But anyway, the, the point is that if this were to ever fall through and I had to go back, I would go back to bartending. I, I had a great time. I went to school for biology. And, you know, I, I could do all sorts of things with that. But I like what I like, and it's my life. And I went to school for biology because that's what I enjoyed studying, you know? I think that's just, it's just one of those things. I, I do the things that make me happy. And that's how, how I live my life. I do the things that I find exciting and interesting. And, you know? That's how it works, guys. Do what you like. Don't be an idiot. Don't live your life for someone else. It's a big mistake. My mom wants me to be a doctor. Do you want to be a doctor? My friend's going to be a doctor, but it's because he wants to do it. He's actually going to Dartmouth Medical right now. One of my best friends. Grew up with the kid. And, you know, we used to play WoW together. And now he's interested in Diablo 3. Ha <laughs> ha! I've converted him. Going to have a student at Dartmouth Medical School playing Diablo 3. Oh, yeah, guys. That's right. Make the whole world a gamer. Do it. It's a fun hobby. Nice and entertaining. All right, here we go. While we're waiting for this shit to talk... Kill off uh, like half these idiots. We shall put you down, God, it seems like it should not. I should not be able to do that. I'm, I'm just saying that now. I don't think that that's. Can I actually mark these? Can I? I'm not sure. I can't tell. I can't see on top. Let me see if I can see this here. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can. I tried marking that. Uh, mark of death, but it doesn't look like it worked. Close to a level of Templar? No, you're level 7. Nowhere near it. Nowhere near where you need to be level-wise for me to uh, get you another ability. We'll just keep you with that one tanking that you have now. I like the uh, the last tier <clears throat> abilities here for this guy. Really solid stuff. Level 9! Hoopla hurrah! Okay, let's do that then. Let's pick that up. <clears throat> um, and I do plan to, with the max level character, show you guys all the spells. All right, how about we get rid of... Why don't we just get rid of Vault? 
pick up this and let's take a look here. Going to be 25 hatred, fire a swirling chakram, chukram, chakram that does 14 to 20 physical damage to all enemies along its path. Let's see how its path goes. Okay, so it spirals out further and further. Uh, looks like three times. One, two, ooh. Okay, so until it hits a wall or something? I don't know. Okay, so it's about like two and a half, uh, two and a half rotations, if you will. Two and a half full circles. You will never defeat me. You will never defeat me. You were defeated the moment you surrendered to me. This guy, this Templar, he's all about those witty, those witty comments. Let's spam this thing. See how this works. Okay, that's kind of cool. Obviously, kind of an area thing. Not clearly not a single target, but I've got my single target abilities here, so I don't need. Don't really need them. All right. Let's do this thing. This should be cake. I, I don't see this as being problematic at all with my demon hunter. It's more armor, but not uh, not much else in terms of an upgrade. All right, guy, you ready? That means yes. There you are, march for death. Yeah, not gonna, not really gonna happen. He's even being tanked right now. Being taunted by my Templar friend. Yeah, this is uh, kind of a joke. Oh, shucks. That's right, I said it. Wow. Look at how easy that is, huh? I didn't even get one wave of those baddies. Ooh, picked up a leather doublet. Let's use the Chakram. Didn't even hit a thing. Cool. There you go, guys. That is the Female Demon Hunter Exploratory Let's Play. Let us see what we picked up, shall we? Leather Doublet. 18 armor. Plus one armor. Regenerates one life per second. Plus two all attributes. And some thorn effects there with attackers taking two damage. That's nice. Let's go ahead and equip that. Wonderful. So very wonderful. Thank you guys very much for watching and, and watching this playthrough. I actually got a little upgrade there for that as well. But since this playthrough is over, it doesn't really make a difference. Time to go back to town. So, of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. And, again, hopefully have been enjoying the content thus far that I've been producing for you. Uh, any suggestions, comments, criticism, anything like that, always leave it in the comments below. I do make sure I take the time at some point to go through the video's comments, take a look at what people are saying, what they liked, what they didn't like, what they want to see differently, all sorts of stuff. Be sure to tell your friends about my channel if they love Diablo 3, if they're interested in the game, or even StarCraft 2, because I cover that game as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe, keep watching, and keep owning. Let's, let's wrap up with some of this stuff here. Just close your eyes. It will all be over soon. Any last words? This is pathetic. Well, that's rude.